Hi all and welcome into this iRacing how-to video. In this video I'm going to show you very easily and free how to get a track map overlay displayed on your monitor. Now this will work if you're using triples and you want it off screen or if you just want it in the top right like you've seen in a few of my videos. This can be used in conjunction with any of the um, overlays whether you're using SDK Gaming or Race Lab apps or the iRacing defaults or caps. It, it works great. It's very easy. Now the company it's through is SimHub. You're probably very aware of this company because um, they are extremely popular when it comes to using overlays or telemetry data or uh, relatives off screen, i.e. on a tablet or a phone or an Adreno. Uh, now I am going to do a video dedicated to reviewing SimHub and looking at running things on a tablet, a phone, secondary displays, etc, etc. But in this video I quite simply want to just show how to get a track map overlay displayed. Now. Most people who use SimHub that I've spoke to wasn't even aware that you could use overlays rather than just um, outputting the information to a secondary, uh, like a tablet. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Now, while it is free, I would highly recommend you donate to SimHub and get the license. Um, they have plenty of donate options and um, it it's a good cause. They're doing great work. Without these people, we would be uh, behind. So it is free, but you get a few benefits with the um, upgrade, and that's what I did. So let's get into it. So to download, quite simply head over to their download link, download the official from the mirror, which I found slightly quicker. Now it just prompts the download. It's a zip file. And uh, I've already got it in downloaded and installed, so I'll show you that. It's a very simple, it's just a standard Windows package. Okay, once it's downloaded and it's installed, you'll be presented with this screen. Now, um, in the license version, um, it automatically detects the game that you are running. Uh, otherwise, you just have to select the game yourself and hit start. It's no different. Okay, bear with me. Let me fire up iRacing and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, we're back in our trusty RSR. Uh, we have SimHub open. If we head down to Dash Studio, uh, it defaults the dashboards, but if you head over to overlays and you come along down to SimHub Global Map and you just hit this play icon here, you'll be presented with this little panel. Let's just move that off the screen and we have this. Move this into, for example, the top right of the display, which is where I put it. Now notice mine's orange and slightly customized because I've made some changes, but I'll show you where them changes are made as well. Uh, when you're done, just hit stop edit, minimize it out the way. And that will just disappear. And we have a track map. Let's just uh, start up the car. And see if it's moving. Now the reason there's not a car number is because I haven't set a lap yet. And obviously there's no other cars on the track. But once we've customised it, I'll jump into an official test session and we'll test it out. As you can see, nicely moving through. So we can see that's working. Might be a bit small for you to see, but you can see the start line. Now I'll show you where the customizations lie. So if we just uh, close that out and we head over to the global map, hit more, edit dashboard and we're presented with a full blown editor to edit it. Okay, so there are an untold amount of um, <laughs> settings here, the rectangle I actually hid, uh, so if you can see here in the top right, um, that was a box that surrounds the um, overlay, so I turned that off by unticking that. If you head down to here, um, here's the settings. So as you can see, I changed the track color. Um, you can have different sectors depending on the sector you're in. So I changed them both to the same, just matching my color. You can change your color. You can change your the size, the dot radius of yourself. You can also change the opponent styles, pick their, their color, their font size, and their dot radius. So this lets you see and control how thin and thick the tracker is up here let me show you track width minimum track width here so as you increase that the track will start getting bigger uh, oh no here sorry that's the minimum track width here's the track width so if we were to apply these I've dialed in exactly what I would want but um, let's fire up an official session and uh, you'll get to see other cars on the track okay here we are in an official IMSA session so let's head over to SimHub. Let's uh, hit play on the global map. 
Let's move that out of the way. Now you can resize it. I didn't think I showed you that before. So you can get it nice how you want it. Get it exactly where you want it on screen. Now the reason you sometimes you'd want to put the track maybe in the top right, just be careful of um different track sizes. But for this track we can do that no problem. Oh no, it is gonna snap us out. So it is just a case of there might be a setting for that. Um I'll let you know down in the description if I find it. But it I think it's just to create a safe area. Um stop edit. Get rid of that. Now if we jump out on the track. As you can see where the orange dot and you can see the track is pretty busy. It's dark and I haven't loaded a setup and I wasn't prepared to drive this right now, but we'll just uh we'll do a lap then come back in. The leader has just done a 115.64. Disengage limiter. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Alright, bear with me. <laughs> I wasn't actually prepared to do a lap. Baseline setup should be fine. Okay, so as you can see that's working nicely. It's really smooth, it's easy to use, and it's very easy to use obviously in conjunction with any other overlays. And um, it is free, but I don't work for SimHub, but obviously I'm definitely going to push for trying to get you to donate to them, because um, I'm glad they're around and the work they put in. Now make sure you are subscribed, because I will be doing a full review of their suite of tools and how to use them on tablets, and uh, we'll hook up an Adreno and we will get... Uh, deep dive into it um, in our discord and all the guys I run with it's such a popular thing um, I'd say 70% of the people I um, talk to run SimHub on a secondary tablet but I say a lot of them didn't know about the overlay features now there are quite a few overlays and in a moment I'm going to show you one other I actually did this race um, really enjoyed it <laughs> alright let's just come into the pits There you go, I didn't crash in a how-to video. That's always good. I am going to end up speeding, aren't I? No. Right. Let's just park it here a second. Okay, the other overlay I want to show you. If we... We can add it here. In the... Um, add overlay screen. It's the exact same as the screen we was looking at, but this is just a quick way of getting it. It's the live map. Now, whether or not you want to use this or not, I'm not sure. I'm on the fence if I um, want to use it, but I love the idea of it. Um, the grey box has been left on. Let's just um, edit the position. Let's just put it here for now. No idea where I'd want it. Now, I'm sure you're noticing immediately what the difference is. It's a... well, you'll see it move. It keeps north up, which is really nice. It gives you a localised view of exactly what's around you. Now, at IMSA, that might get a bit busy, but I'm sure there are certain tracks and situations, maybe at like the Nordschleifer, where it's uh, you know a busy track and there's lots of information around and you want to know where an accident is. So let's run it now. As I can see, I can see someone coming to the side. So we follow them, and I can see someone's been back. So this really lets you, um, oh my god, looking at that and driving. So you can see two guys behind are quite close to each other. So this is the live map. I do, I love the idea of it. I really do. I think it's a fantastic idea. Integrating it into my workflow and something I'd want to use. Um, it's not something yet, but I, look, I can see the right hand side of the straight. I really, I like the idea. Um, now whether this is just a tool you'd want, for example, a spotter to have. Um, it's not something you want to stare at in real time. But maybe even for learning a track. You know, um, I never recommend that track guideline that people use. Um, because I don't think you're learning the track. I think you're learning to follow colours on a, on a road surface. And I don't believe that's the best way, personally. I'd rather um, make mistakes. So, But as you can see, the data I'm getting from these is, in, is updated nice and quick. Fully customisable. You can see on the left they're blue and red because I haven't customised any colours. And on the right I did a little bit of work. Oh, it's just box. But anyway, I really hope you uh, get some benefit out of them and let me know down in the comments if you end up using them. Um, so, the procedure. You head to simhubdash.com. You download their package. You open it. Um, you apply the licence if you've, if you've um, donated and you get emailed it. Um, let's just get out of this. You head over to Dash Studio. You're usually presented with dashboards, which is how you work your 
tablets and all the third party software but if you head over to overlays you'd be presented with these overlays and you can create new ones you can edit them using the um, edit dashboard area so if I wanted to edit that live map we could turn off the annoying grey box we could change the player car to my color you, you can just pick from a preset or you can uh, just type in your hash color here um, and design it yourself fantastic it's really good I'd recommend it track maps are good for if you've had an incident you're looking to rejoin if you're running a race like IMSA and you want to know whether to uh, box early or not um, there's multi-class colorations like it's really worth investing your time in looking at overlays uh, now whether that should be on a tablet or on screen that's up to you your budget your setup your situation but um, yes I really hope you enjoyed that video I, it's a question I get a lot of the times and I've been wanting to work out how best to present it on who best to use but um, in the end uh, the best always rises to the top and it was SimHub so um, it's fantastic I uh, fully recommend it alright guys I hope you enjoyed this video like if you do sub if you want to see the next one bell notification if you want to know my next video drops but other than that thank you ever so much for the support and I'll catch you in the next one goodbye